Hi everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Video Game Dad, the show that has no business on the Pantheon. I'm the VG Dad, and this of course is the VG Kid. Video games in the 80s were hard. It was just to be expected. The technology was so limited at the time that games tended to be rather short, only offering a few levels, so the programmers had to come up with tricks to really task the player with meeting the challenge, hence the term Nintendo Hard. All this does make for a rewarding experience if the game is up to snuff. Today we're looking at another in a long list of perennial classics that's sure to put us through our paces. Grab your bow and arrow, it's time to play. Kid Icarus. That's right, we are playing Kid Icarus for the NES. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right then. Well, if it, all we gotta do for this one is push the start button. It's Kid Icarus. A game about being a kid. So it's perfect for you. Cause you are a kid. I'm only six. Do you know who, do you know who Icarus is? Um, no idea. Yeah, you're a little bit young. You probably haven't learned, gotten into Greek mythology because you're still learning about, you know, numbers and letters and stuff. I don't even really remember. I, don't, I love how I always am just like, do you know this thing? And then I don't even really know what I'm talking about. Um, Icarus, and I believe it was his father, they tried, they wanted to fly. And so they built wings out of wax. But unfortunately, Icarus was too bold and he flew too close to the sun. And so because he flew too close to the sun, his wax wings melted. And what do you suppose happened when his wax wings melted? He fell down. Indeed so. And so that's why there's the phrase, never fly too close to the sun, which basically means know your limits and don't be overly ambitious. Oh sweet, I just turned all those dudes into hammers. Get hammered, son. Yep. That's what you get. I have a Yuna Kitty and she doesn't look like the movie one. No, because this is a custom built Yuna Kitty, it seems. Yep. It's what are these things? They're little mustache nose mans. Uh this it is kinda looks like your mustache. I think I might be offended. Also, I'm finished. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Good reading. Oh, jolly good. We're back at the beginning. This is one of those games. This is another one of those classic NES titles that I never had. It's also one of those classic I NES didn't titles. I homework today. That's true. You just had reading. I think it was your, your schoolwork that I read. Anyway, this is another one of those titles that I don't really fully understand how this became such a classic, like knowing what I know about it. Ugh, You're boy, finished. I'm finished. Because it is, it is extremely frustrating and extremely unforgiving. But at the same time, this, it's still pretty well designed. It's like there's um, there's a definite method to the this, madness. This music is kind of high beat. It's kind of high beat? Yeah, that's yeah. true. It is kind of high beat. Kind of reminds me of uh, the music from Metroid. Not Super Metroid, but the first Metroid, which is a game we have not played. I don't know if we ever will, because it's it's one of those games that it's, you know, it had it was good for its time, but like in retrospect, it's mostly just frustrating, because uh, a lot of games. I don't think I want to play it. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll play it. I don't know. We're getting farther. We, no, this is about uh, where we died last time, because I fell off a dang cliff, but I turned those guys into hammers. That'll show them. I never had Kid Icarus on the NES. I had Kid Icarus on the Game Boy. I can't remember what the subtitle of it is. It's like Revenge in Demon Land or something along those lines. Oh man, he's going nuts. Yeah, and he calls little sneaky dudes. No more deaths. I guess they're supposed to be like specters. They're bringing doom. Good thing you have 38 hearts. Well, they're kind of like, remember when we played Castlevania? No. Well. For the viewers, they'll know what that means. They're like the hearts in Castlevania. They have absolutely nothing to do with your health. Your health is that little pinkish square that's up there right underneath your hearts. Uh. I think you can extend it as you get further into the game, but the hearts, they're kind of like in Castlevania. They just act like I currency. I just saw lava. That was lava. The hearts just act like lava. currency. Lava is real, guys. That's true. Lava so is real. Watch out for lava if you see it. Yep. Good advice. If you live in Texas. If you live in Texas, you probably will not encounter volcanoes. You might get dirt devils. If you live in Texas, please understand what we're saying. Yeah, what are we saying? 
Oh shoot, I didn't mean to go this way. I meant to go the other way to avoid the evil death man. Eh. eh, you don't even know what we're trying to say? They kind of look like evil jellyfishes. They do kind of look like evil jellyfishes with one great big eye. I was talking about this guy. He's a menace. We just got to try and... He, uh, he's a jerk. He's a jerk. We got to try and jump up there without him seeing us. Aha! Ouch! Ah. Anyway, the hearts, they act like currency. And so all these little doors that I keep going into... Uh, eventually, like, some of them are challenge rooms, like that one we went into before. But, oh, I filled up my life. Nice. But some of them, when you go into them... Oh, this is a game of chance. Which pot do you want to pick? Um... The one on the very... Oh, the very top on the right? All right, let's go pick that one. Uh, I got something, yeah. but I was... It sounded like a good thing. I was standing on top of it, so I didn't now see him, fortunately. Have 49 lives. Yep. Eventually, like, some of those doors, you go into them, and they're, like, a little shop, and you can buy... Uh, you can buy stuff? I don't remember exactly what you can buy. Like I said, the, the only game that I played was the second one, and even that one I didn't play very extensively. <laughs> Because this is an extremely frustrating and unforgiving game. Oh no. Oh no, he's bringing little specters. I gotta just run. Just run for it. Run for it. Run for it and don't die. Well, that little potato face got me. That was a bad time. I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. Well, let's beat up some bad guys then. Then you won't be tired. Right? That's how that works? You don't think so? You just grab that, grab that thing and then they all turn into axes. Yep. Yeah, I think that's right, actually. I think these, those are called axes canonically. Um, but they look an awful lot like hammers. Anyway, eventually... Go through the door before... Before... Yeah, this is... I this is another... You. This is a challenge room. It's got the little mustache nose, guys. Is, I just gotta try and beat all the baddies. Get Come here. all the baddies. Come here. Come here. We have 89 now? Did we get 10 more? Yep. The big hearts are worth 10. Alright, I can get this last guy. He's a pushover. Pew. Get pewed. Really? That's all it's worth is hearts? 109? Yeah, that's so many hearts. Well, alright. I guess that's cool. If we get busted. If we get busted. That's okay. Busted makes me feel good. Oh, that slowdown. I mean dead busted. You mean dead busted? Alright, which yeah. pot are we going to pick? Um, I'm taking for this one this time. You're going to go with that one? Alright, hopefully we'll actually see what we get this time. Ooh, it's a hammer. Yep. Man, this game is tough. Me that this game was hard and I believed you. Yep, you were right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not an unfair difficulty, it's just it's just very unrelenting. <gasps> that kinda looks like a monster face. Did it kinda look like a monster face? Yeah, alright, yeah. fair enough. I'm dying to know what these hammers do. I would really love to know. Potato! Potato! <laughs> You say potato, I say potato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's go. Oh, oh, sorry. Potato. All right. Got to try and avoid death over here. Nope. Nope. Let's see if I can nope, juke nope, him out. Nope, 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 nope. You can't see me. You. I'm hiding. I don't think you can do it. Like Jeez, thanks for the vote of confidence. Come here. We've seen trolls a, a million times. That's true. Literally. That's true, because you and your sister like to watch that movie pretty much every day. So we did talk a little bit about the character Icarus, who is a character in Greek mythology. Um, and that is where the name Kid Icarus comes from. Oh, hey, we actually beat the level. Go us. Yeah. Uh, but this guy. I don't think I can beat another level. Once. We'll see. That's why I'm not even playing. Yeah, you just didn't even want to try. I... You asked me, you said, uh, is this a hard game? And I said, yeah. And then you said, I don't even want to try it. So I wasn't going to force you to. And I was not wrong. It's pretty difficult. Oh, good. Ice. So anyway, really? our character. I hate ice. The guy that we're playing as, his name is Pit. And as we go through the, the game, 
as we get to the end of certain worlds, we'll get more powers. I love making snowmen. You love making snowmen? Yeah. And once in Texas, I made a tiny snowman and then I kicked it down. Oh my. Oh no, more than mustache men's. <laughs> but it was in the park out in winter. Oh, and okay. It was with Aunt Carla. So it wasn't in the park in summer? No, there's no snow in summer. There can be. When I was a kid, we had a snowstorm in the middle of July. It was crazy. What the heck? Yeah, it was nuts. That's what happens when you live in the mountains. You get snow at all kinds of crazy times. Oh, this was a mistake. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that epic sometimes maneuver right there. Sometimes in Halloween, sometimes in Halloween it's cold, so you might want to bring a jacket. Yep, that's true. That was another thing about growing up in the mountains is that, uh, oh no, I died. Sometimes you would have all these great plans for Halloween costumes, then you'd have to wear a big jacket over it, and it would just ruin the illusion. Well, the nice thing is that we died, and it only reset us to the beginning of this stage. It didn't reset us all the way to the beginning, so, you know, the game's not a complete jerk. I'm relieved. I'm relieved, too. 61? Yep, I'm about to have... 65! <laughs> Yep, I did. I got four more right at the same time. All right, let's fill up our hearts. All right, let's go take on some mustache mans. <sighs> Come here, mustache mans. I'm really tired, guys. Yeah, you don't need to keep talking about it. Okay. It's all right. You can go to bed after we're done. Ah, I'm stinking mustache mans. Yeah, okay, you can watch something short. Really, I can't jump and shoot up? That's kind of silly. Like, it was prevent- I, yeah, I can't jump when I'm pointing up. That's incredibly silly. But, you know, limitations of the hardware. Come here. Come here. In real life, you can do it. That's true. In real life, you could do it. But, in real life, I don't think I could shoot a bow like he's got. Like, I've shot a bow, like a compound bow, which basically is a mechanical bow that does all the work for you. Um, but I don't think I could ever do, like, an actual real bow. Cause they're, they're pretty tough. Oh no. If there was a monster in front of me. You would just freak out. And I would scream. Oh sweet, here we go. See, this and is I a shot. I scream daddy. What do you say? Try buying from me. All right, I want that, but I don't have enough monies. I think that is basically acts as an extra life. Um, that allows you to fly for a limited amount of time, I think. I'm not sure what the wine bottle does. But anyway, that's what the hearts are for. They are currency. You buy stuff with them. Humans, you buy something and get out. Humans have two hands. If you have four, if you have four hands, that's really weird. Yeah, but you shouldn't make people feel bad about something that makes them different. I'm sorry if you have four hands. You don't have to be sorry. Just don't be mean to them. Treat them like a normal person. Like I treat my friends. Yep. Come here, mustache man's. <laughs> Come here, mustache man. <laughs> they kind of look like you wiggling your nose. They kind of look like me wiggling my nose? Yeah. I think they kind of look like they're dead. Got it. What em. the what? Nice thing is the more you do those little mustache man rooms, the easier they get. Just, you know, because you're brushing up your skills. <sighs> and that's how that works. He kind of looks like a devil. He kind of looks like a grim reaper. I think that's what he's supposed to be. He calls down his servants of evil. <clears throat> I don't know if you can actually even kill this dude. Gravity Falls is full Oh, of sick. You can kill that dude. Gravity Falls is full of mysteries. It is indeed. May I help you? We have everything. You know what? I'm going to do that. It's because I needed it. Thank you very much. That sounded like a robot. That was the goal. You have a terrible girl voice. You have said that for like the last three videos. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you don't, need, you don't need to keep bringing it up. You're going to make me feel bad. Sorry. I'm trying so hard to do a good girl voice. Don't you love my girl voice? <laughs> I've been practicing. <laughs> it sounds weird. Yeah, I'm not actually trying that hard. All right, come here, snooks. I'm a girl. That's true. And I'm only six. That's also true. In a month, I'll be seven. 
By the time this video comes out, it might actually already have passed her birthday. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Oh, geez, that was almost death for me. Oh my gosh. Oh good, everybody's favorite. Moving platforms! If I was playing this, I would just jump off a cliff and die. Oh my goodness, why would you just do that? Because I don't know... Because I don't even know how to play this game. Well, it's not any different than any of the other games that we played. It's just a little bit more challenging. Mostly because of the onslaught of bad guys. Oh, dang it. Well... And... I'm finished, and so is the episode. We'll see you guys in the outro. Really? Really. All right, so after a little bit of time with Kid Icarus for the NES, what did you think? Good is terrible. Uh, what did you like about it? Not much. Okay, so what did you not like? A scary monster. Okay, so what kind of rating do you want to give to this game? Five kittens with glasses in a box on a trampoline. Kid Icarus fits the mold of classics of a bygone era. By the standard of gaming in the 80s, it has everything that you would expect. High learning curve, catchy music, and precision platforming. To that end, I did enjoy my time with the game, but I can't see myself revisiting it. The gameplay wasn't rewarding enough to look past the difficulty, despite how fun it was. The challenge lies mostly in memorizing enemy patterns and outwitting the AI, and that feels less like winning and more like being beaten into submission. Overall, it's worth a look, but don't expect a lot of lasting appeal. That is all the time that we have for this week, guys. As always, we hope that you enjoyed this episode, and we will see you next time. Until then, keep playing.